Hi all, in today's lab we are going to perform operating system upgrade from Windows Server 2008 R264 bit to Windows Server 2004 R264 bit. I hope everyone clear on end of life of Windows Server 2008 which is going to be EOL end of life on Jan 14th 2020. Let's get into pre-checks before we start off the operating system upgrade. So you can have a look on the screen this is the mandatory pre-checks so number one says c drive should be 30 gb of free space because when we initiate the operating system upgrade the existing windows folder will become dot old and the new windows folder will get created the size would be approximately nearly 20 gb for plus 10 gb for safer side to avoid the space crunch during the upgrade Number 2 says memory should be 8 GB for better performance during the upgrade because during the upgrade the consumption of the memory resource would be very high because the copy of the files and installation all those will be performed. So point number 3 is uh, CPU should be 4 number for better performance during the upgrade because again it's similar to the memory uh, as I said earlier. Uh, during the operating system upgrade the number of CPU resource consumption is very high that's the reason the recommended is at least four number of CPU would be required for better performing for better performance during the upgrade point number four says take the backup of server configuration details like IP address of the server memory details number of CPUs number of network adapters with VLAN details that will be helpful if breakdown happen during the upgrade point number five says disable antivirus services before the upgrade because sometimes there may be chances during the operating system upgrade in progress files which were supposed to write in the C drive that may get blocked so as a safer set so we can disable the antivirus services before the upgrade point number six is double check the recent event logs for any errors before the upgrade so it's a safer set we can double check the event logs for any errors if no errors we can proceed for the upgrade point number seven take the snapshot of the server if the machine is virtual and the full backup of the server if it is a physical machine if something break down during the upgrade if required we can revert the snapshot and if required we can for physical machine if required we can build the machine and we can restore the backup and the last pre-check that is point number eight reboot the server freshly before the upgrade so let's get into uh, operating system upgrade implementation plan so so in one of the non-system drive i have placed windows server 2012 extract extracted from the iso so here you can see setup file so so click on setup so it will open the notification window let's wait for window here we can see two options that is get important updates from windows setup the first one is go online to install updates no that is not required no let us uh, focus on the upgrade so installation of the patches will be done after completion of the upgrade so select no thanks so we are planning to upgrade to windows server 2012 standard edition so let's click on the standard one click on the checkbox that is i accept the license terms click next here we can see two options uh, it says which type of installation do you want the first one says upgrade install windows and keep files settings and applications and second one says custom install windows only at once so if you select the second one custom one what happens the installation of the windows will be taken as a freshly so since we are planning for the upgrade of the operating system uh, so the recommended one is to select the first one that is upgrade one windows is checking the compatibility report so in this report we can find if any errors is found in the existing uh, windows uh, operating system if it is there it will highlight in the report to get that fixed so click on next 
so operating system upgradation started so it is started operating system started copying the windows files uh, it takes uh, some couple of minutes and again it depends upon your existing resource so let's move to next step collecting file settings and applications it's capturing the or uh, gathering the information of the existing settings and application which are hosted on the server so before uh, it get you know upgrade collecting files settings and applications uh, this take couple of minutes since, uh, since it has to capture all the existing settings and the installed application informations and its details second step has completed uh, now it's more to third step that is getting files ready for installations here windows is preparing the files to upgrade the existing operating system uh, so as we know uh, the extract will be done in the windows c temp file so that is that preparation and other upgradation preparation is going on at this stage the third step is almost completed so it's about to jump into the fourth step that is installing features and updates here the list of features and updates which are applicable for windows server 2012 that will be deployed once you're done with these steps windows would restart to continue the further steps windows is booting up operating system upgrade setup started again uh, few of the installed i mean the first and second third got already reflected and fourth one also almost about to complete it and we are at the final step to complete the operating system upgrade almost done so we are at moving files settings and applications so once we done with this windows would reboot once so after that so we can log in back to the server to check the upgraded version so windows got rebooted and uh, getting devices ready so windows is finalizing our settings we got the control alt delete screen so here we can log into the server with our existing credentials we logged into the server with our existing credentials so let us have a version check so here you can see upgraded version that is windows server 2012 r2 please subscribe and share our channel to get more tech videos like this this is tech build signing off for the day bye bye